assalamu alaikum thank you all of you to watch this video in this video today i will describe about exercise page number 148 to 149 first of all i will solve fill in the blanks mcqs and numericals now let's start fill in the blanks please open your book page number 148 now fill in the blanks when we assume that there is no loss of dash due to friction in the machines then is equal to input energy input the efficiency of machine is the ratio of work done by the machine to the work done on the machine now the c size the example of order of dish first kind of lever now second mechanical advantages of lever and the wheel system is given by ratio of the dish radius of wheel to the radius of axle second machines is the device which is make the process of doing work easier dish is the device which is used to process of doing work machine now problem 149 page number please open 149 now an effort of 60 160 newton applied to the pulley system is able to lift a load of 750 newton through the vertical weight of 125 meter to do this the effort move a distance of 7.5 meter now calculate the mechanical advantages of pulley system b the efficiency we know that first of all we will make a data effort which is equal to 160 newton you can uh, given by load w is equal to 750 newton which is the load of weight through the vertical height and the distance through load move for h is equal to 1.2 meter which is given by vertical 1.2 meter and to do this effort move the distance of 7.2 when the distance through which effort make as d is equal to 7.2 meter now first of all mechanical advantage and second we find the efficiency now take solution we know that mechanical advantage is equal to weight divided by effort now weight we have already now 750 newton divided by mechanical advantages of effort p 160 newton okay now when we divide 750 divided by 160 which is equal to say 4.7 now efficiency you know that efficiency equal to weight multiplied by height multiplied by 100 newton so potential difference so you can weight mult p is effort multiplied by d distance through which effort act now it's multiplied by efficiency 100 now w is equal to load 750 newton when we put here and multiply by h h means the distance through which load move divide by p effort 160 effort multiply by 7.2 which is the effort act on point now when we multiply first of all 750 multiply by 1.2 which is equal to 900 and 160 multiply by 7.2 which is equal to 1152 now when we divide 900 divide by 1152 now first of all i will tell you about now mul divide 900 first of all 900 divide by 1152 1152 
which is equal to 0.781252 now when we multiplied 100 which is equal to 78125 percent so efficiency of this circle is 1.52 500 I hope you are all understood now next numerical the ratio between length of arm of liver is 4 ratio 1 how much force be applied to the long arm so the load of 20 newton suspended at the short or can be balanced now the ratio between effort arm and load arm we can represent let's suppose x and y of the load and effort arm so which is equal to given by 4 ratio 1 now load is equal to 20 newton and effort is equal to we will find now According solution, according to the principle of lever, momentum of force is equal to momentum of load. Momentum of effort multiplied by momentum of load. Now, P means momentum of effort multiplied by the ratio or effort arm to load arm. It means first is the ratio of effort arm 4 and second is the ratio of load arm. 1 now p multiplied by x and w multiplied by y now p multiplied by x which means ratio of x4 with w multiplied by y now we will find w multiplied by y which is equal to w multiplied by y x divided by y x can divide in this term now p multiplied by x and w multiplied by y p is equal to w as it is work load and multiply by y and the x divide in to y now w load is equal to 20 newton and when we ratio of x divided by y now in this is y divided by x now we can take reciprocal 1 divided by y so 1 divided by y which is equal to when we divide p is equal to 2 cross 1 divided by 4 which is equal to 4 1s are 4 4 5s are 20 so p is equal to 5 newton Now next 7.3 An object of mass 100 kg is raised 2 meter above the ground using inclined plane of a length of 10 meter calculate the effort applied parallel to the inclined plane Now you can now the data first of all mass is equal to 100 gram kg height h is equal to 2 meter length of inclined plane 10 meter and effort is called p is we will find now solution mechanical advantage of pla inclined plane is given by lo load divided by effort which is equal to length of inclined plane divided by height now in this is we will find p p is a multiply by in this term and l multiply by again here and h multiply by cross multiplication h multiply by w and l is in bit uh, divided into h multiply by w now p is equal to h as it is now w weight is equal to mg so in this is m is equal to 100 gram and g is a gravitational degree which is not given in this part we will we should keep in mind the value of g is equal to 9.8 h2 multiply by 100 multiply by 9.8 which is divided by 10 now when we divide now when we divide 2 multiply by 100 
multiply by 9.8 which is equal to 1960 now again divide by 10 which is equal to 196 Newton so the effort applied at the point is equal to 196 Newton Now next 9.5 A load of 21,000 Newton placed on the top of screw jig is lifted by force of 300 Newton. If the length of Tommy bar is 35 centimeter, then the pitch of screw is 2.5 meter. Find the mechanical advantages and efficiency. Now two answers should be come here 70 and 79.5 mechanical advantages and efficiency. Now first of all we will find load data load W is equal to 21,000 Newton efficiency which is equal to 300 Newton length of Tommy bar I is equal to 35 centimeter now centimeter is converted into meter we will divide 35 divided by 100 which is equal to cent to centimeter into meter so 0 0.35 equal to in now it's meter now mechanical advantages and efficiency we will find solution mechanical advantages is equal to weight upon effort so mechanical advantages weight is equal to 25,000 divided by effort P 300 Newton now when divide both these quantities which is equal to 70 mechanical advantages now mechanical advantage has no unit because both are a same quantities force and force so Newton and Newton cancel to each other so mechanical advantage of force is zero so Newton non units efficiency now efficiency is equal to weight multiplied by height and for inclined this is the efficiency for screw jig you should keep in mind this formula I have already drive in lecture 2 efficiency weight multiplied by height upon effort multiplied by 2 pi r this is the 2 pi r circumference and multiply by 100 efficiency w 21000 multiply by height we know that height 0 0.025 you can already prove screw jig height upon p effort 2 as it is and the value of pi is equal to 3.14 multiply by r of the radius this is equal to 0.35 now when divide these quantities which is equal to 5 to 5 and when we multiply this denominator 659.82 multiply by 100 now when we divide first 5 to 5 multiply by 5659 divide by 82 now uh, first of all I will multiply 21,000 multiply by 0 0.025 which is equal to 525 you can write here now again now again we will divide 300 multiply by 2 multiply by 3114 3.14 now multiply by 0 0.35 which is equal to 659.82 now now we, we will divide 5 to 5 first divide by 659.82 which is equal to 79.56 now this is multiply by 100 which is equal to 75.56 though now we can write in this 4 
numbers so ignore these parts now this is the efficiency of screw jack now second part the length of handle of screw jack is 4 cm and the pitch is 4 mm how much load can be lifted by applying force of 5 new 5 newton on the handle now data first of all length of handle r 4 cm now convert cm into meter divide 100 now pitch of screw h which is given by h 4 mm 4 divided by 1000 so when we convert it millimeter into meter we will divide 1000 and when we convert it centimeter into meter we will divide 100 lot w is equal to we will find and effort is equal to 5 newton now solution ideal machine the input is equal to output now in this is the example for the ideal machine input is equal to output screw jack is equal to weight output weight multiplied by height and input 2 pi r multiplied by effort p now we will find h w now 2 pi r multiplied by p divided by h 2 pi r the value of 2 pi r 2 pi r and p is the value of 5 h we will find 0 0.004 now weight is equal to when we find apply these quantities first of all the values given by this and now divide by this value equal to four, uh, three point three one four two newton weight now homework you can solve this uh, numericals I have make already data here efforts load height distance mechanical advantage and efficiency you can pull for pulley system and uh, you know I have already described pulley and uh, I have I, uh, I describe about pulley uh, mechanical advantages of pulley and efficiency of pulley now you can uh, solve this numerical and also you can solve fill in the blanks I have already described uh, a, a dash is sample machine first second third if the fulcrum of lever is between effort and resistance it is a class dash lever first second third a pair of scissor example of i have already described which of the following belong to second kind of lever i have already described these examples and uh, a screw jig uh, always has efficiency less than 100 percent which of the following is best explanation of the reasons of are this first this must be so because the definition of screw jig a screw is the really to inclined plane there is always frictional force between its parts and a screw jack only act vertical and its hands has weight a screw jack has no total efficiency machine now you can uh, solve this uh, fill in the blanks uh, uh, MCQs and uh, all these questions thank you all of you watching this video Allah Hafiz take care